I swear, if one more asshole in a mask tries to scare me, someone is going to get punched in the nose. Francesca grumbles, her eyes shooting daggers at the werewolf masked figure sprinting down the sidewalk. His gleeful cackling echoes in his wake. I hate Halloween. It's not even dark yet. Why are people dressed up already? As if Frankie summoned them herself, another group of students dressed up in various costumes walk across our path on the quad sidewalk, rudely cutting us off on our way to our apartment. I have to force myself to bite back a grin when my feisty best friend and roommate makes an annoyed growl under her breath. I think it's fun that everyone here wants to celebrate. It wasn't that big of a deal at my last school. I love Halloween. Always have. Some of my best childhood memories revolve around spooky season, as my mom called it. She insisted on making our costumes herself, despite my brother and I taking weeks to land on the perfect disguise. Our indecision never bothered her, though. Even if she had to sew together fabric until the very last minute. Frankie's eyes roll behind her black-rimmed glasses. Please, Blake, you think it's fun because this is your first year having to deal with this nonsense— but if you're not careful, you'll wake up tomorrow with glitter in your hair and puke in your bra. Oh! Her hot pink painted fingernails glint as she snaps. And let us not forget about the injuries. A freshman had to get 20 stitches in his arm last year. Everyone loses their ever-loving minds over this party. I take a drink of coffee she's grabbed for me between classes and instantly regret it. Looking down at the cup of caffeine that is supposed to get me through the rest of my day, I fight the urge to spit the liquid on the sidewalk. What the hell is this? It tastes like an air freshener. Frankie cuddles her own insulated cup to her chest, grinning happily. It's a pumpkin spice latte. You don't like it? I wait all year for these to come out. Wincing, I pass her my cup. Well, congratulations. You're now the proud owner of two. There isn't a chance in hell I'm choking the rest of that down. Wait, go back to what you were saying. A freshman got hurt? I thought the party was for seniors only. There were obviously parties at my old school back in Georgia, but I've never seen an entire campus humming with so much excitement over one annual party. The second I stepped out of my campus apartment this morning, there was a buzz in the air. I don't think a single student comprehended the lecture I was just in. Between the costumes and excited whispering, no one was paying attention. I'd heard it was a big deal, but it's a party with a scavenger hunt. How dangerous could it really be?